Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'll show you how to auto-populate logged in user profile details in Copilot Studio and display them in adaptive card form step by step. As you can see here, this is my logged in user. And these are my details like user ID, user principal name, user first name, user last name, user display name, user email is logged in, and user language. So how did I implement this? I will show you in this demo. This demo will be very interesting. So let's get started. What I did and how I did it, I will show you here. First, identify your topic where you want to display your adaptive card and then go to your topic. This is my topic greeting. How I identified this topic. Once I logged in, I was welcomed by Copilot with greetings like good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. So I clicked on this, and this got me to the greeting topic. First, I'll show you how this logged in user profile populated it here. How did I do that? I will show you right. Already, I have done here. I will create one more adaptive card to show you here, right? The very first thing I need to do is add an adaptive card here. Add a node ask with adaptive card. Right? Then, go to the adaptive card property. You will see the default JSON for this adaptive card. We need to replace this JSON with the custom JSON for your requirement. How to get your custom JSON? We can design the adaptive card using the Adaptive Designer. This is the Adaptive Card Designer tool. You can design your card here. But I will share with you a very quick technique on how to create your card and design. Your adaptive card without this tool using ChatGPT. So, what I will do is I will just write a prompt in ChatGPT. This is the prompt I have used. I am passing this ChatGPT prompt to create an adaptive card for my user profile data demo. For your scenario, the prompt might be different, but it shows you how quickly you can create your adaptive card without writing any codes. Basically here, I am saying to create an adaptive card and display the logged in user profile details like user ID, user principal name, user first name, user last name, user display name, user email is logged in, and user language. This is my prompt and it is ready. I'll just click on this go button. Let's see the magic. You will see in a few seconds your custom adaptive card JSON will be ready, which you can use in your copilot. All right, I'm not going to explain this. I will just copy this JSON code and I'll come back to my adaptive card. What I have added here, then I'll just replace this JSON, right? Now I have replaced this with the customized JSON and I will. Just click on this. Save button. If you notice, the moment I have added this, I can see the card or form here in design mode. Here, I will show you one more thing. How you can welcome your logged in user. Then for that, I have created a local variable here. This is my local variable. 
What I did is I have created this formula and use the concatenate function where I have passed welcome static text and logged in username dynamically. This is dynamic system.user.displayName. Now, you can use this variable throughout this current topic, as this is a local variable. Now, what I need to do is I will populate these values dynamically. For that, what I need to do is I need to click on the Adaptive Card Properties and click on this Edit JSON. Then, go to the Formula. Now, here, we can pass the dynamic value for each field mentioned in the card. This is logged in user details. This is the static text. I'll show you other dynamic details like user ID, name, email, and language and more. So what I need to do is I need to select this. System.UserID. How do I know what the exact dynamic variable I need to pass it here is? I need to go to any variable, then go to the system tab from this. Then filter with the user text. You will get to see all user profile related variables here. Basically, you need to pass these details in that adaptive card here. I did the same thing here, like pass the display name, user email, first name, last name, and user ID and other details. You need to pass these system variables exactly the same way how it defined like for user display name. You need to pass like system, user.displayName. For email, system.user.email. Right? I will continue showing my other adaptive card, which I already configured, as this will take time to pass all variables. I will go to my already working and configured adaptive card, and I'll just delete this new adaptive card that I added now as I will explain the dynamic parameter in my working adaptive card. One more thing I must say, and you need to know, is that the moment you go in this adaptive card, in formula mode, you will not see the adaptive card in design mode. I mean, you can't see the form or card anymore. This is my adaptive card in design mode and there is nothing to be worried about on this. It will be displayed in the run or test mode after deploying or while you are in the debug. Mode or test mode. However, at runtime you can see it. So this is something we must be aware of. I'll just delete this one. And I'll explain the other one which is working. See, this is the working one and in tick state, which says that this has been executed. Here what I am doing is, this is my logged in user profile details and I exactly did the same as what I explained until now. Right? See here. For, for this welcome message, welcome dynamic username. I'm passing this topic dot my welcome message variable. And this is a local variable. I'll show you how you can create or convert this local variable to the global variable as well. I will show you that. And this is what I have passed here, pass my welcome message variable. First select topic then, dot then variable name. This is how I'm getting the message with welcome user. Here is your details. This is the static text. Nothing to be. 
discuss for this. Now, coming to system variable, how to pass dynamic system variable. Go to your label or text box or wherever you want to display that text or value property and for user ID. Pass system.user.id. Then, I got the user ID. Next comes the user principal name system dot user dot principal name this is user principal name so don't get confused with the email id format this is how this user principal name created in azure ad now for first name similarly system dot user dot first name and for last name system dot user dot last name and it goes on for other details This is how you can get the log and user details. This says user language is English. You see, the user email is empty because it has been configured as empty in Azure AD. This is created as my user principal, but the email is empty in Azure AD, so it is coming as empty. This is the way to get logged in user profile details from the Azure AD. Until now, we have seen how to populate custom local variables and system variables dynamically and display in the adaptive card. The way of calling these custom variables and system variables is different, as we saw. Now, I will show how to call a global variable from the adaptive card. First, I will convert my local variable to global variable type. Then, automatically, this will be converted here in adaptive card as well. Even though I won't change here in the card, I will not change here. Let's close this and show you how and what I mean. Now come to your local topic-based variable and open it in edit mode. Change the usage type from topic to global. You can check these two checkboxes as well. Those are optional. It means allowing carrying between sessions and external sources can set values. I'll just check these two. These are not mandatory, but you can. Test this option as well. So I just changed or converted my local topic based variable to global. And I'll just save it. Now my local variable converted to global. Variable. Now this variable can be accessed from any of the topics. See, there are how many topics? There are multiple topics. You can call to this global variable anywhere. Right now, I will open and see this adaptive card again. In editing formula mode, and if I go to my adaptive card, I can see the changes. Though I didn't change it here, automatically my same local variable changed to a global variable, right? This is really an amazing feature. You change your variable type to global and it will be changed your variable type wherever it was used. I have published this demo in my blog as well. I will mention the URL in the comment section. I'll just save it and I'll open it again. That's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies. like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate,
Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.